and in deck are here and today they are launching a new initiative with the Prince's Trust to help disadvantaged young people get into the media, maybe following in their footsteps. I love that show so much. You just, you just make, makes you smile. Anton Deck, join me now. It's lovely to see you. And the last time I saw you, we were robbing a bank together, weren't we? <laughs> we, <laughs> we were. We were robbing a bank. It was so funny and so that silly. That was the moment, Lorraine, when oh, you went and swore there. So we got Lorraine to do the whole kind of Pulp Fiction swear words. And we, uh, <laughs> we picked out the bit that we didn't want the viewers to hear. But the extras on the day, heard everything and it blew their minds to hear Lorraine <laughs> Kelly swearing like a docker. Um, you were very good. Thank it you so great. much. I loved it. Thank you for giving me the chance to be naughty. The only thing is I do have a confession to make. You know how you gave us all the outfit to wear? And I was very good and at the end, you know, I put it all back and I, you know, everything all really neat and tidy. But I'd forgot that I put the balaclava in my handbag and I've <laughs> still got it. <laughs> and I just, I had visions of like the wee lady that was helping us out going, Wait a minute, where's the balaclava? Why has she taken that home and what is she going to do with it? Yeah, what are you going to do with it? Well, it's been fun. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's, it's good been for the cold fun. trip back to Scotland. You can pop the balaclava on when you're taking the dog out for you. Oh, I can hear you, my dog. I can hear Sorry, you, Sorry, that's, that's, that's Rocky. Oh. There's somebody at the door. Oh, oh listen, <laughs> Angus does that all the time. All I'm the time. Him out. It's OK, it's fine. Bye, Jack. <laughs> Hi, Doug, thank you for that. And you can tell me about this brilliant thing that you're doing with Prince Charles. This is fantastic. Yeah, it's great. It's a new initiative. Um, we're trying to get disadvantaged children, young people, into media. It's called Antindex Making It in Media. Uh, so you can see by the VT there, there's obviously loads of jobs in this wonderful industry. Sound, you've got uh, lighting, you've got camera people, scripting, uh, editing. So it's social content you can see there. So we want to help people who wouldn't necessarily uh, be able to afford to get down uh, to courses, who can come on our course for free. Uh, we can help with travel and stuff. They can apply for a grant if they, like I said, if they can't afford to get there. So we put these courses on, they'll meet people from the industry. We'll be able to talk them through how TV works, how all these different jobs in the media work. And at the end of the two weeks, there is a get hired deal where hopefully employers will come down and employ these people because there'll be many young people out there who love TV or love shooting themselves or they've got a, a, an interest in it or it's just a hobby at the moment. But we're hoping that with this course, in due time, we can help turn that hobby into a career. What a fantastic thing. And you know what, with you, with Prince Charles, he's got a really good sense of humour. Like when he was when he was wee, he used to love listening to the goons um, and, he, and he loves Morecambe and Wise, of course. So you kind of get each other, you know? You, 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 when you talk to him, it's, it's very different to most interviewers. You actually see a, a completely different side to him. He's got an amazing sense of humour and he's got a real twinkle in his eye as well when he, when he, um, when he comes to, uh, to functions and stuff and we see him. And he's always got a little gag and a little bit of a nudge and he's, he's got such a wonderful sense of humour that people don't often get to see. But we always have a great time when we see him. And he's, he's always been really supportive of us as well and he's been really lovely to us. Um, and we've had a great time working with the Prince's Trust and, and, and supporting the, the, the work they do. And we've wanted to do this for ages. We wanted to, to, to give opportunities to people like from our backgrounds, the same kind of backgrounds as we had. You know, we, we were f fairly unremarkable kids from the West End of Newcastle that were given an amazing opportunity and we built a career in, in the media. And we want to give that opportunity to, to kids from similar backgrounds to us to to maybe have a career in, in what is a fantastic industry to work in. See, I think that's fantastic because I think we're from similar backgrounds, actually, and it's tough right now and it's especially yeah. tough. You know, there, there is that sort of class barrier thing. So what you're doing, I salute you, it is absolutely fantastic. And also congratulations on putting out a massive show like Saturday Night Takeaway, you and the team, during these crazy times, that you were able to do this extravaganza. Oh, it was, thank you, Lorraine. It was a privilege, though, to be on air and to be able to do it because we really felt like we, we were the ones to deliver a bit of entertainment and a bit of, you know, give a smile on a Saturday night. Yep. So it was an honour to be on on a Saturday. It was an honour to be, to be live and to be able to do it. And thanks to people, you know, like yourself for turning up and joining in the fun I because 
We loved it. We had a ball. We had an absolute I know. ball. You can tell. And the thing about it is everybody is having a ball. That's the thing. It's not just you two. Everybody else. You know, you've got a cracking team round about you and that, yeah. that makes all the difference in the world. And of course, I'm a celeb. We'll be looming very, very soon. And of course, all the rumours just starting. You've always said you'd quite like to have Piers Morgan in there. Is that still the case? Well, he's not working at the moment, so, you know, he'd be looking for a job. Yeah, he's got bad time in his hands, who knows? I think he would be absolutely amazing in there. I really do. It would be quite... It would be quite interesting, that's to say the least. We don't know yet whether you're going to be in Wales or whether you're going to be able to go back to Australia, though. It just depends. Still yeah. all up in the yeah. air at the minute. We're, we're having conversations. Well, we're not. People, people are having conversations <laughs> with Australia to see if they'll let us in uh, and to see if that's going to work. But um, if not, we've got a, a lovely alternative to go back to Wales, yeah. which we had a great time there. Um, we, had a, we had a really lovely series and the people of North Wales made us feel very, very welcome. So we'd gladly go back there. But yeah, we'll see whether it's ours yeah. or Wales. We're not quite sure yet. But whatever it is, it doesn't matter because it'll still be it'll still be a great show. That that's the thing. And I actually quite I actually quite enjoyed Wales. It was it was kind of it felt like it was a change and it was it was all right. You know, it worked. It worked really well. Yeah, it did work. And doing it in the castle and having the castle as a backdrop really helped with the challenges and kind of reference points. And I think all the celebs who were in there absolutely loved it. So yeah, we would happily go back to Good. Wales if Good. we had to. Well, whatever happens, it's going ahead. It's going ahead one way or another. So that's that's really good to know. Well, we should just ask you, was that anybody exciting at the door? No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mean, I, should, I probably shouldn't say that, but no, it wasn't very exciting. No. <laughs> oh, that's a big shame. But listen, it's, it's always a joy to talk to you both. You're in a, you're in a, a great place, both of you. Obviously, Dick, being a dad changes your life completely completely it, it really does and and what i love about the two of you is you've got this real genuine friendship it's real you know it, yeah. it, it's not because you you cannot there is no way in the world that you can pretend you know you absolutely you've always got each other's back it's great yeah. oh look oh, at you as children that one. That's <laughs> off. Oh. what does my cat say not guilty oh um, so cute. yeah we are you know we're best friends and we started as friends and you know we our partnership would never have lasted this long if no. we weren't as close and we didn't love each other as much oh. as we do well look always a joy always a joy to see you good luck with uh, the the whole project getting young people into tv you know young creative people that might not have the chance to do that and um, good luck with that and everything else and thank you it's always great to see you thank you oh, thanks thank for having me lovely oh, to see you cheers guys thank you so much Bye -bye. don't forget you can watch full episodes of lorraine on the itv hub and all the best clips compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.